Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 15. For we are aliens and pilgrims before you, as were all our fathers. Our days on earth are as a shadow and without hope. Now that is an astoundingly dark verse to bring up, especially in light of the other thing I mentioned today about how great Thanksgiving was and that what a wonderful last few days I've had. That's uh, one heck of a verse to bring up, but it's a verse that I read recently. It's something I read in 1 Chronicles 29, and it's the verse that really stood out to me. We're all aliens and pilgrims before you, as were all our fathers. In this world, this isn't our home. Not our permanent one. Our, our permanent home is not a dirt nap six feet under for however long the universe lasts. That's not it. We're a lot more than physical beings. We are also spiritual beings. We are eternal beings. Some people watching this may not believe that, and feel free to disagree. As a Christian, that is what I believe. And a lot of people who aren't necessarily Christians but spiritual will agree with me on that. Our days on earth are as a shadow. Everything down here is obviously transient. We're all going to die. The entire world is going to fade away at some point, regardless of your religious belief, even a non-religious belief. You believe that. Science also indicates a heat death of the universe. So everything is passing. Everything down here is a shadow. What I would, as a, as a Christian, is that there is something past the shadow. There is an actual figure casting that shadow, and that is, once again, the spiritual world. And without hope, well, yeah, ultimately we're all going to die. And if there isn't anything past this world, it's all pretty much utterly pointless. For we are aliens and pilgrims before you, as were all our fathers. Our days on earth are as a shadow and without hope. Sorry if that brings you down. Sorry if that is a little bit in, in contrast to my earlier message about Thanksgiving and how great things have been and how happy I am. I'm still happy and I'm still thankful. But it is a certain fact, unless you're Enoch or Elijah or some saint on that level with that kind of miraculous experience, um, we're all going to die. And this world is going to be, fade away. Regardless of what you believe, everyone confirms that this world is going to fade away. And that all of us are here for a very, very brief time. And it's important in the middle of the happiness and in the middle of the good things to keep in mind. All it takes is one drunk driver, one psychopath, one natural disaster, and that's it. We're done. We humans are incredibly weak. We're incredibly frail. The word shadow is a really good illustration for that. We're not all that. We're not that special. We're not that strong. And one day, we're going to be leaving this place. And the question is, are you ready to meet your maker? Literally, are you ready to stand before Jesus? That's the question I want to leave you with today. Feel free to leave down um, some stuff in the comments below. Agreement, disagreement, discussion, questions, um, ad hominem, whatever you feel like. All are welcome here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.